Mount Shasta is amazing. This is McLeod Falls. And it's all snow melt. <laughs> you gotta try it. It really wakes you up. <laughs> So McLeod Falls is right near the Whoa. town of McLeod. Uh, and you better hurry. This was in September. Pretty soon it'll be too cold. This is the premier swimming hole of the world. <laughs> yes, sir. It was cold. Freezing cold. But I feel alive. And here's lower McLeod Falls. There's a swimming hole there, but a little bit harder to get down to. But you can certainly try, and look at this beautiful stream. This is, so lower, middle, and upper McLeod Falls. And then we go to Lake Siskiyou, my favorite lake in the area. Well, no, there's Castle Lake, but you can't miss Lake Siskiyou. It is a man-made lake, and it is not surrounded by big houses like Tahoe. There's... Uh, campground, lots of little beaches, and one of the best things is the swimming is superb. The water feels like silk, and you can take a boat out. I always like to go swimming there. You can't find a better lake to swim in. You can get in pretty much anywhere. And swimming out to the middle, you can see this. Oh my gosh, Mount Shasta from being in Lake Siskiyou is so nice. Stunning view. And then it has a little path around it. Beautiful place to go at sunset. And there's always the chance you can see wild deer. This is right on my friend's front lawn. Isn't this amazing? And then we go to Castle Lake. I love this lake. It is a Native American sanctuary. And very significant spot. You can really feel the enchanted vibes there. Very clean and clear water. Swimming is wonderful. People take kayaks out. And then there's a gorgeous path around it that you can walk along the lake. And there's many little tiny beaches that you can either rest on the rocks or swim out. I love this little path. I haven't been on this path in a long time. It's cool, isn't it? Yes, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Look at all those sparkles. I know. You're the sparkliest. Yeah, I am sparkly. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I know. I thought, well, I didn't bring a jacket, but I do have one in the car by me. Are you okay? Yes. Yes, yes. And most people are. See, I always keep seeing your work. The photos that I saw before, and uh, you know the Asian, and the nature, and the colors, and uh, you know, and all of that. Any one of those, I I see on a huge wall. Yeah. As you enter, Asiana Airlines offices, mm -hmm. as, as right as the public walk in, go, wow, that's where I see your stuff. In the sky, remember to look up because the clouds look particularly amazing around Mount Shasta. Now this is in Dunsmuir, the botanical garden, and this is the river that runs through it. It is an amazing place of flowers. They have concerts there. Really special place. Another path that you can walk along the river. Absolutely sweetest spot ever.
And then we go to Fort Jones and play with the dog Creekside. It was so much fun. This was her first time swimming. Good dog, yeah. <laughs> Good. Good dog. Good girl. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Good dog. Good girl. I want to say this is one of the most beautiful places on earth. It's a swimming hole. <laughs> I love finding swimming holes. So this is in Fort Jones. And now we go to Stewart Hot Springs, one of my favorite places in the whole world. So this is the cold natural pool that you can dip into. It's it's cold. Covered bridge. This is also an ancient Native American holy spot. This is a real sanctuary. If you have the chance, it's the oldest hot springs in California. And then we go and we visit some geese in a beautiful garden coming right up. Daddy. You're the weird one. Oh look it, she wants to be No, yeah, she keeps trying to jacket. like shove up in my jacket, yeah. But that's so cute. You're so weird. <laughs> yeah, they think that we're their mom and pa, so. Well, They're the most fun I've ever had with poultry. Nice. Geese, yeah. <laughs> they really are. See, okay, don't poop on me though. Are you ready to go? You kind of are the parents. Yeah, you ready to do stuff? More than okay. not. Okay. No, yeah, they are. And geese imprint longer than ducks too. It's like ducks, they only have that first like 20 minutes or whatever when they pop up out of the shell to be their mom or dad. But geese form complex lifelong relationships for like the first two weeks of their lives. So, oh, we're family. Yeah, yeah, so we're family are. now. You can tell. Yeah. I mean, they hang out with the same group of geese for the majority of their lives. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they kind of like travel in groups and families and stuff. Like, generally, like one big gander will have a couple of generations of his offspring following him around everywhere and they migrate together. And... So they'd be stressed if they were broken up. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, waterfowl in general, you can't do by themselves. They'll like freak out. Or cut them off from their group. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. Yeah, they either. Mm -hmm. See, I'm even like pushing my luck just having two of them, but they have a good time. They have, they have ducks to chase, so they don't get bored. I thought they'd be better friends with the ducks, but they're not. No. You'd think. You'd think. Like, oh, you're almost the same thing. No. No. They gotta um, establish they hate the their ducks. dominion, right? They're like, how dare you get in my kiddie pool? <laughs> He's just like chasing the ducks off all day, like protecting all of his stuff. No, you can't drink water. Huh, Gilbert? Oh, you're kind God, of a douche. Funny. You're kind of a douche, huh? <laughs> And don't miss the sunset. Just look up at the sky and see how gorgeous it is. Hey, we're going to Sicily. If you want to learn photography with any camera, join us.